Hey, welcome to Martinez. <coughs> in the continuation of our fit up apartment that we have. So this is how we start the project entirely. Actually, what we want to do in this project is rendering, teaching rendering. But these are the project I all started. So these are the 3D that we have created concerning this. So you can just imagine this is the last one that we were able to cut the section to. So if you don't need the section again, it's just like by clicking this and everything disappears so you come back to the original level where you'll be able to feature and visualize everything according to the way it should be so this is the point so we want to do rendering now the reason why i'm doing this rendering i don't normally do rendering on this channel because this channel is just dedicated for review to for modeling entirely modeling any kind of residential commercial and then using any form to do the rent to do the construction work so how you can just achieve anything whether using image getting image by something that's what i do on this channel so if you are able to job bug into one of my channel that i'm doing rendering for good luck to you so from here i just want to respond to one one of my uh one of the fewer of the channel who who came up on on the channel because this is this is smartness so he just came up some time ago and asked me that okay well done so his name is uh guatana victor j so 10 days ago he asked that question that well done sir well done for your great content how do you do your rendering in Revit. So I don't do it until I watch I also watch through some of my head tutorials. So definitely I've done some of the rendering one way or the other just to explain. But this time around let me quickly use this one to explain to you so be able to get it done and see how far you can be able to uh, manipulate yourself towards when you're having challenges. Just only pure Revit. I'm not going to use now. Look at this channel half a lot of rendering any that I use that I used to do my work. So I will read that if 5d i render in fury so at the same time i can i do some other, some other thing like that so i have a twin motion as well but not like in this particular software so if i want to do that i will so but now i want to teach basically on revit so how do you render if you are just new when you are able to model something like this and you want to have a perspective picture of what you want to do what you have created and you want the different view entirely so you want the realistic aspect so how do you do that this is what you want to train and do in this particular project so let's go to level one at the level one now this is how the significant the whole thing sir i think we are able to do this one you can watch the from the beginning the episode one to the, this last episode if you want if you are interested and you get the playlist you see the playlist there is the revit so everything is in content in content of single playlist now what you do is that you go to uh camera you can get your camera from the view it does not matter whether only this aspect you just click on view then you click on the camera from here so from camera you get your camera here you select the camera so when you select the camera it depends on the angle you can switch your angle from here it looks normal if you are good in photography you understand all those aspects so but if you are like that that not good in taking shot of anything so just like following this simple instruction the moment you select your camera from here so what you need to do is to look at the angle in which you are going to pick from so i'm selecting this now i want to pick from the center i just want to capture this loss like i want to capture normal elevation so as you do that so that's this one flows so the best thing you can do is that this center line the one we do to rotate the angle of view wherever you want to see it. but this is what you need to concentrate your attention on so i click like this and immediately it took me to the position where i'm going to see what i have done so if this is the perspective aspect seeing this from the normal elevation uh, view so if you have this like this you can just go toggle here so that you get the preview of what you are doing so you get on this point and you change it so these are the parts in which you are seeing from from the 3d that we are working on before so now since you have this one the the camera view is created here you can rename it if you want to the way you used to do with the remaining one so you can rename it and call it let me just call it one shot one 
so let's leave it that way so this is what i have here so i call it that so you can still edit whatsoever you want to do so the way you are having it here if you like this angle that you are feeling it's fine for you so you can render the way you want to render do it the way you want to do it, or export it after you render so but i just need to lead to a little bit of adjustment in this one what you need to adjust is like the camera position uh, the position of view so when you click this particular one so you come to this position and you then adjust it so then now the first thing you need to do is i want to lower it the high level so i want to lower it i want the person i want the high level to come down <coughs> to normal to below normal so like a normal bed size of of human being so i'm going to select like say 900 here so i will do the same thing 900 the reason why i do 900 is that so that the angle line will be so much parallel and straight up look at it so there won't be any confusion so you straight at that point so if you change it like this now let's say you back to normal you see this thought a little bit on this which is not good can you see so the the, the line now is wrecked so which is not good so the best thing is to do that you uh, align your align the arrange the, uh, the target elevation together with the I elevation so that this wreck will be gone so you see the line is straight perfect and everything all the vertical lines are going to be what straight but they are not going to bend so that is rule number one so the rule number two you need to follow now remember that in this material we have created all through this one is a water material it is not visible because we are using what's realistic but when we render it we will change to the whole water area so if you have both and everything you can put it there but i'm not going to do that because i don't want this to, the topic to be long and i don't want my this file to be too heavy so that is the boat for it so how am i going to render now the first thing i need to do is that i can start to pick up the render dialog from here or you come here to pick the render dialog it's your choice so i'm using this one as a render dialog so after i've done whatever i want to do finish concerning the camera so i double click so this is it so the first thing you do is that this is draft if you render anything here it's not going to give you that quality the reason is that draft is just a normal source quick render to know how the material combination is so the best thing you can do is to toggle it and check or oh, so there's customization you can customize so you have medium which is quick rendering to read fast and the image will not be too clear this is i this is one the image will be very good quality but it will not be detailed to to normal this is best which is going to give you any kind of uh, PC you get into is going to give you the detail of it but it's going to take longer if you don't have any good graphic system that can do that so i normally use i to do whatsoever i want to do and right after which i click on screen i mean sprint instead of screen so i change the dpi here because the dpi now bring the details of what or all the PC that I want to use. So I use 300, depends on you. So you can use 600. So if you want to get the quality details, so about your file, you don't, the more you select, the more the file is going to be getting bigger. Look at it. So you change to 26, change to what? 104, which is depends on the graphic system you have, the time while you are using to render the presentation to your client. So all those things matter. So that is it we have on that one. So we are going to render then we get to this this is another setting of uh, exterior setting and things like that if you have this so this one i normally use if you like the light i have here i can use it but i don't want if you the more you use artificial light the more the render the more your thing gets lower so i always use normal sunlight so all my lightning always done in a standard software so i don't do that much in revit so now click adjustments if you click adjustment now this adjustment we are going to work on it later after we complete render but if you do it it's pretty fine it's going to be good but after the render it's going to be more reasonable after the render so when you adjust that one you are going to see how the thing is going to be affecting the picture the picture quality you are before you now export it i'm going to use it whether you want to use it in another external references so i'm closing this one so after i've done this one the next thing i need to do i'm going to change it back to 150 i just want to render as quick as possible i don't want to waste much of time on this one so i zoom to whatever i want to zoom to zoom to fit so then i start my rendering setup by clicking this one so you go to render this region so the dialogue will come out this suggest is going to be rendering so after it starts rendering or pick up the whole image file 
and factors. The water and everything, you are going to see them, everything is going to be reflecting on this. I'm going to see the details on how the whole thing looks like on the, re, uh, on the reality. But after which you have done with this one, this is the, before the thing render until it come back and come and do the yeah so the rendering is about to be completed so now this is the picture the the whole thing brought and the rendering is completed 100 percent complete now so after you have gotten this as your rendering prospect so how do you do it the picture quality is out but if you still want to adjust this in the refuge sector it is still possible so that is what i want to do but before then, it depends on your choice. So if you can want to save this into your project, you can click on this and say save to project. As you save to project sort one, you're going to click and going to create a render dialog where it's going to be saved. So, so look at it. So the rendering dialog has been saved. So you can save as many pictures as you want. You can click on it, it will come there. So but let me focus on this one. So you want to export too. There are so many formats of exports. You can export this format in different way. So when you click on the export, so you have the first level is the jpeg so it depends on it you can create your file where you are rendering the whole thing into so you can just like click so let me quickly go um create one let me say desktop let me just create a file for this so here i just call this one rendering so i call this rendering so i leave it that way so the first one is short so if you save in jpeg that means that you want to use the background you are using all the background attached to this so the jpeg will be giving you your, the background you have selected everything in this one is going to be saved without removing anything so when you click on save you find it there so if you want to click on different formats you click here and you toggle the file type so you click on file type you are going to see tiff is one of the quality file so but if you are doing much of animation this one is more reasonable and good so we have bitmap file which is normally used when the file that use this one used to have a larger file so they come out with the normal detail as well even has some quality to hit so this one the whole come with the background now portable network graphics which is png this is only one that doesn't come with background whenever you save this one and this background will disappear except for more the one that have the quality of the model so model model materials they are going to one that's going to because this uh, sky you are seeing here is not part of your model making it's just that you select it and it's there for you so if you save in this model network now it's going to disappear so you can click on that and say save so it's one but so it does not matter the name will not have be affected because the format are different so click on that so this thing is safe so let us now go back to how we can adjust this based on what we are saying it is not finished some of people some people think that whenever you do something like this in revit it is finished that you can just like take it to Photoshop. you can still adjust things here so let us click do some adjustments what i mean is this as we are here now when you click on the, see these white points first let's look at the exposure at the exposure you can change the exposure a little bit and say okay i want it to be more brighter so adjust it toggle this just take this arrow adjust it a bit say apply so it's going to change apply again and you see so if you are not seeing it go to dark and apply so that one is there so the next one you need to do is that you click on the cooler part apply the cooler part say okay what is your issue adjust so increase this and say apply so can you see so it has already changing the whole process for you so the color part has been adjusted again the color part adjust so you click here adjust it so the, the brighter the darker side they are coming up so you can just like pick it up depends on your choice the way you are doing them so adjust them like this see so okay, let me just like push it here 15 i think it's okay now i have that white points i want it to be more a little bit cool so you can see so you you can adjust 
can you see so saturate as well you can increase intensity to see how far so if, if you do this so you can like reduce it so it depends on your choice so can you imagine the kind of feeling you are getting from this so shadow you increase the shadow apply can you see so you, you increase it more so that is the more thing many things like that you can do in a, in a refit so it's not like you, you are looking for external reference external file up and down so this one now you can save it the way you say for jpeg the way you say just say okay this one is there so just export so sort one you can just like arrange this one say so it's 11 which is for jpeg and then you go back here and do another one for png so sorry you rename it again sort 11 for png remove the png at the back so that we not cause confusion so we are doing the format of so save so that is it and this one too you can like save a link into projects it's going to have you in level two is not going to contact you're not going to so if you want to see just close this now the image of the first one and the image of the second one we did can you see so the file you save that to you can go back there to on desktop let me quickly get there and see for you so click on desktop so what are the things that I did that time? I say rendering. So let me just press R render from the file. So I just want to see the rendering that I did. Where is it? I think it's not available here. Oh, sorry. So just like what I've done, maybe it's not here. I don't know. So, so anyway. It's your choice to so find it anywhere you have done the, the needful and get it done for your own benefit and for your own good. I think I created it the file, but I'm not seeing it again where I save it. I'm supposed to be under R. Where is R, 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 I don't like teaching things that I will not show the, the real aspects. So desktop, I think you are confusing me. R remove and this is it rendering so look at it so the image is sort one sort two sort three so look at the way they are so that is how you save and that is how you have everything in your position and you work on it based on the way you are expecting them to be for you so we are done with this one now we can like get it done okay there's something i need to tell you but i'm not going to do it again it's okay so this is how the thing you can adjust when you are doing work with your review so see you in the next tutorial when we are going to start another thing entirely